You've got a one in four chance. Sleep on that. Good night. Good night, Good night Chef. Glad you're still here, Ben. I'm glad I'm still here. We're all glad you're still here. I really do genuinely like Jason, but like, I'd have been so bummed out if you left over him. He's not more passionate about cooking than I am. Fuck that. There's no doubt I can come through and win this competition. I feel like I got my second win tonight. I ain't gonna fucking bury those girls. I feel the same way. I have every intention of making them look silly, period. We really have to just take over. We have to have them on their toes. I know I can do it. I'm a better cook than Holly and Autumn. I know I am. And I'm the only person who can compete with Jay. And I can beat Jay. No doubt in my fucking mind. It's time. Now it's time. Now it's like push it. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen. Good morning! Good morning! morning. And Chef Ramsay has a special treat for the final four. I'm gonna flip it around. Now I'm gonna cook for you this morning. Awesome. Roasted monkfish with little potatoes. Having Chef Ramsay make a dish, it was exciting. Watch carefully. The first thing is to get rid of this skin here. But there's still always, uh, you know, the nerves in the center of your stomach because we have no idea what's going to happen next. Filleting knife underneath. The monkfish is a expensive fish. Be very, very careful. I think monkfish is one of the toughest fishes to cook. More often than not, it's not even butchered properly. Never mind cooked right, so it's definitely not for beginners. Let's start off with a nice hot pan. Give that a really good sear. Yeah, it's beautiful. As he's demonstrating, I'm like just like full attention mode, like trying to pick up on something that'll help me make this dish if I have to. Just take off the ends very, very carefully. Hold it together. Let the knife do the work, OK? Be very careful that you don't buckle it up. Let it rest on top of potatoes. OK, have a little taste. We've taken a very difficult fish to make right and transformed it into something phenomenal. It's it just so bright with the capers and the peppers. Now, big question. Do you all think you can recreate that dish for me? Yes, yes chef. chef. Excellent. Because today, I'm going to test your ability to teach. I thought, holy shit, Ben is an instructor. This is what he does for a living. I am screwed 100%. But to make it fair, you're all getting students with the same amount of experience. Zero. Guys, come on in, please. Good morning. I was hoping for beauty queens or some strippers or something along my lines. And then out came four guys. Good looking guys, but not my type. These four young, cool dude bachelors, they know absolutely nothing. And each one of you is going to teach them how to roast a monkfish. Uh, when was the last time you were in a kitchen? To actually do something? Yes. <laughs> They're pretty. <laughs> They can't cook. Now, you're all standing opposite your bachelor. <laughs> it's verbal instructions only. Is that clear? Yes, 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 yes. Half an hour, starting from now. All right, come over here. We have two aprons and some side towels, and we're going to set up right over here. Bring these over to our station, please, and I'm going to grab all the food. First thing I would do, get the peppers on the grill. And our station is... Where are you going? I'm not sure. He said, take this to my station. He didn't tell me where it was. Right here. Oh, Jesus. Let's throw these all in this bowl. Watch your hands. Are you OK? okay? Uh -huh. Peppers on the grill. Great. Uh, Holly. Yes. He's put peppers on the grill, but the grill's not on. The grill's not on. Chef Ramsay believes that to be a great chef, it is essential to be a great teacher. Now that only four chefs remain, he has designed this challenge to determine their teaching abilities. What is he doing, Holly? The chef who helps his student most closely recreate Chef Ramsay's dish will win the challenge. Open the knife kit and grab some knives. Open the knife kit. Oh my god, like this guy has a diamond in his ear. He's probably never touched a knife before. He spent more time putting on his apron than he did cooking. He tied a nice little homemaker bow. I thought when I saw that I was done. Hang up my apron, time to go home. Okay, so Five minutes gone, guys. So go ahead and lift your monkfish up on the side oh. right here. Oh, come on, you're a man. Lift up the skin, and you're just going to like kind of peel it off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're a natural. You're going to be like super chef after this. Cool. You'll be married within two days. He's like a lost puppy. So the first thing I started working on is being a little flirtatious. I uh, see. We were a couple. So you go. <laughs> Your pepper is very beautiful. <laughs> That's what I've been told. I wasn't worried about Holly. The gentleman she was with was a little on the feminine side. Hot fish coming through. 
Just watching them get it together, it was definitely monkfish the hard way. I just pick up lands? Yes, you guys. Cool. You can touch everything with your hands. Okay. <laughs> Not quite. Ooh, that's hot. What do they call it, Health Kitchen? Yeah. Woo! You want me to do something while you're setting up? Take the stickers off of those peppers. <laughs> I'm a teacher by nature. I'm very verbal and I communicate well. I'm just happy I can do something, actually. I'm able to relate things in a way that people understand, you know, what I'm teaching. Watch that fish. I'll be right back. I don't know what I'm watching for, but I'll watch it. You look good, fish. What are we making? We are making a uh, pan-roasted monkfish. Is that like a salt water fish, or is it a? It's a, it's a seawater fish. With a pepperad. With pepperad. Potatoes. What kind of bacon was this again? It's actually pancetta. I do like teaching. I do like teaching new people. What is the extra virgin? It's from the first press. What's in the five spice? Ground ginger, coriander. But no, I could have killed him. The questions he asked. Am I supposed to wash my hands? <laughs> Did you not wash your hands? No. You should always wash your hands. Oh, fuck me. Last two minutes, guys. Ay ya. Here are your Niswa olives. How are these different than normal? Uh, they're a little fancier. Even if it takes you five minutes to a slice, cut a perfect piece. If it falls apart, we're screwed. Come in a long stroke. OK, that's all right. We'll just use that whole piece the way it is. Three, <laughs> two, Should I wipe the plate? one, and serve. Right, how did students do? Very good. Excellent, Excellent chef. You happy with that performance? Right. Yes, yes, chef. chef. Good, well, let's taste it. Autumn and Neil, let's go, guys. The chef whose student comes the closest to recreating Chef Ramsay's roasted monkfish entree will win the challenge. Right, Neil, what is that? Uh, the monkfish and a little bit of salad. What's in the potatoes? Um, there's salt, the um, small pea looking things. Small pea looking things. <laughs> Papers. Autumn, this is serious. I'm asking um, Neil exactly what you told him. So he's nervous. You know, he knows it's a He's nervous. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Where's the monkfish gone? We had a, a hard time cutting the monkfish. God, it's not what I'm asking about how oh, hard a time. Where is the monkfish? The knife got out of control. That's all right. We'll just use that whole piece the way it is. It's 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 shredded. It wasn't good for presentation. I'm sorry. What a shame. Potatoes nice. Slightly salty. However, it's missing 90% um, of the monkfish. Right. You know, it sucks. I should have at least put the shredded portions on the plate. I definitely regret that. What a shame. You live and you learn. I totally forgot. Right, uh, Jay and Rick, let's go. Put on the table and take the dome off. Thank you, Rick. You're very welcome, chef. Excellent. Wow. Presentation, superb. You ever sliced monkfish before? Never. Not even fish sticks. I honestly thought Jay had sliced that. What is it? It's a pan-seared uh, monkfish mm -hmm. with pancetta, capers, olives, roasted red peppers. Delicious. Monkfish is cooked perfectly. You did great, Chef. Rick is a prime example of don't judge a book by his cover. What would I change? Less vinegar in the salad, nitpicking. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Really well done. I thought I was really in for a rough day, and I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Good. Benjamin and Steve, let's go. I'm very confident. Everything was there. The seasoning was there. The flavors were there. The monkfish was cooked perfectly. I could win this competition easily. What is the dish? It's a uh, monkfish with um, olives in it, and there's like a micro basil salad. Mm -hmm. Have you ever cooked monkfish before? Uh, no, I barely ever heard of it. No? Unfortunately, the peppers are almost raw, and the um, pancetta's burnt. What a shame. Just out of interest, um, Benjamin, you're a culinary teacher, right? Yes, Chef. Steve, how did he come across? I was just kind of following him and waiting for him to give me direction. You know, I don't know what Steve's grading on. He threw me under the bus. I didn't fuck him, he fucked me. Chris and Holly, let's go. Right, what is that, Chris? Uh, this is monkfish. Mm -hmm. It's made with love. <laughs> made with love? Yes. What's in the potatoes? Potatoes. Take your time. Oh, God. You don't tell a chef how to eat. If you were actually in Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay would have thrown the plate at you. <laughs> It tastes delicious. Really? I mean, yes. That's the first perfect potato I've had. And monkfish slightly hashed as opposed to being carved. However, at least we have got all the monkfish on there. Good job. Very nice. Thank you very much. Well done.
Considering none of these guys had ever cooked properly before, each and every one of you had done a very good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. It's a difficult one. Congratulations goes to... <laughs> Jay and Rick, well done. Really well done. I'm happy, I'm psyched that I won. It's just sort of one more step up the ladder, so it's one more thing I can show Chef Ramsay that I did positively. That dish was um, almost perfect. Carved beautifully, seasoned perfectly, cooked to perfection. The dish looked like you had done it. Thank you. Bachelors, I've got a little present for you all. Scott, please, thank you. This is a copy of my latest book. Bedtime reading, <laughs> yes? Enjoy. Now, do me a favor. Fuck off. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. Well done. Losers. Today's going to be a tough one. Today in Hell's Kitchen is maintenance day. We've got wobbly tables, we've got screws missing, we've got light bulbs that need replacing. We need to spruce this place up a bit. Secondly, the car parking lot needs cleaning, sweeping, brushing, and tidying up. It sucks. But you know, I am a handy woman. I fix everything around my house. No big deal. Once you finish that, get back in the kitchen and get prepped because tonight I'm gonna open Hell's Kitchen. It's like fuck dinner service, fuck dinner service. <laughs> Jay, you're gonna do something very exclusive. It's a once in a lifetime thrill. Would you like to know what it is? Yes, chef. Good, I'm not gonna tell you. You have to wait and see. You've got 30 seconds to choose a partner to take with you. I don't know she's all like... Yay! <laughs> I knew right from the beginning, if I didn't win, I wasn't going to be picked because I don't have any friends here. And of course it sucks to work Ben. Right, Holly and Jay, upstairs at the dorm, I'll call you back in five minutes, yes? Benjamin Autumn. A lot of work to do, yeah? Yes, yeah, sure. In order to make sure that we don't get our whites dirty. Andy, handyman overalls. jean Fable will call you in a couple of minutes. Off you go. I feel bad for Ben. You can go back in there and change it. No, I mean, I just don't think it'd be as fun. I love him, but he's not. I'm pretty exciting. Pete, I'm sorry. I feel really bad for Ben because we're good friends here. And I personally wouldn't want to be left with Autumn, but Holly's pretty, pretty good looking. I really wanted to pick you, like, I had that oh, yeah. odor. I feel bad. Yeah. I feel like you hate me. Don't hate me. I'm totally bummed. I would have liked the gun, but I'm not going to sleep with Jay, so. <laughs> I think Ben's furious. <laughs> I'm so glad you picked me, Jay. I'm really excited about the reward. I don't know what the hell it is. Jumping off a bridge, bungee jumping, parasailing. I, <laughs> so, I don't know. It could be anything. <gasps> oh, my god. <laughs> the Goodyear blimp. Hello. Hi. It's amazing. But really, I've always wondered, like, who the hell ever gets to go up in a blimp? I guess we were the lucky ones today. <laughs> pretty awesome. It doesn't say why we're being congratulated. <laughs> it seemed like, you know, a marriage proposal. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, guys. All the way to the back. You get blimp sick? <laughs> I, I don't know yet. If I do, I'll aim right for you. Thank you. You have no problem. Here we go. The takeoff's kind of steep. It's, it's a little steep. Right. Look, there's two dead bodies floating. <laughs> Thank you for being here this morning. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah? I bet. So let's go. Let's crack it. It was a double punishment today. Being alone with Autumn, that was the biggest punishment. I think I'm too skinny for mine. She just wants to be here so she can look pretty. She's not passionate. She probably doesn't even give a shit about the fucking Hotel Savoy. Did you give me the one that's broken? Uh-uh. Try this one here. I think the pressure definitely might be getting to Ben. He's starting to crack up a little. And when you're on a downward decline, it is hard to recover quickly. You're professionals, right? Try to beat everything. Don't go too crazy. Oh, my god. So amazing. Awesome. This Thank is you. the most amazing thing ever. Just the ocean. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm from the area. I'm familiar with all the streets, but, you know, seeing it from this point of view, it gives you a totally different feeling. We are definitely not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be awesome if we blew over a hell's kitchen. That'd be so awesome. They would hate us. Okay, guys. We need to speed up. Let's go, let's go and scrub it. 
Laughing themselves to death now. <laughs> so awesome. Poor, poor bitches. I love it. Sucks to be you. That's for sure. They're having the time of their life. So are they part of the Mile High Club now, you think? I don't think it's a Mile High. Maybe the Half Mile High Club. Oh, man. They hate us right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's half an hour before opening, and while Ben and Autumn are hard at work prepping. I just gotta do some more radishes. I'm getting these potatoes up. Go for it. Holly and Jay finally arrive in the kitchen. Hey, guys. But they do not receive the warmest of receptions. Today when we came back, Autumn and Ben are a little bit upset. What can I do? Where are you guys? Um, just finishing touches. There's nothing else to do? Yeah. I'm a better cook than Holly. I really think that she's kind of fucking got lucky and gotten into this kind of a smooth position where she's kind of rolling through. Where is the tempura? Is this curry salt? I don't feel the passion from her. I don't feel it. Right. Jesus Christ, why are you jumping like that? Oh. Let's go. Right. Well, how was it? It was amazing, chef. It did you great. enjoy the Goodyear blimp, was it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. And did you spot a house together? No. And we did look for a house, Holly, let's be honest. But I don't really want to live in L.A. Let's look in London, OK? I think Holly's a little tramp. <laughs> I'm so over her. OK, here we go. Tonight, I'm expecting everything to go smoother than it's ever gone before. I've put my ass on the line, OK, to give away a head chef position at the Savoy Grill. Based on the last two services, trust me, nobody qualifies for the head chef. So it has to run perfectly tonight. We need to do it. now. I'm going to do something I've never, ever done before in Hell's Kitchen. Never, ever, ever. I need each and every one of you to play to your strengths. You decide amongst yourselves now, OK? Who does what section? The appetizer, the fish, the garnish, and the meat. Off we go. This is huge. Chef Ramsay never allowed us to pick our stations before, so um, it's definitely an opportunity to shine or miserably fail. I'd like to do fish. I'll do garnish. I'll do I... abs. OK, I'll do garnish. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good job. I feel like we all uh, chose the stations we were the best at. You know, we have the sickest service ever. There's no reason if we communicate properly that we can have a perfect service. Well, where's the Belgium twat? Hey. Let's go. Yes, I'll go to the restaurant, please. Let's yes, go. Sir. So I'm going to have definitely the sea scallop. <laughs> the lamb wellington. Great. Let's go. Let's order. OK, guys, make it count, yes? Yeah, big time. On order three, come on, table 22, yes? Two scallops, two risotto. Entree, one duck, one beef, two wellington. Where's the energy? Yes, Chef. Listen to me, yes? Yes, yes Chef. Thank chef. you. Yes, Chef. The fact that you're not even answering me when I'm calling out an order tells me already you're not concentrated properly. No, I'm listening, Chef. I am looking for a leader. Let's go. Ready yes, go. Chef. I'm ready. Chef Ramsay expects the person who wins this competition to be a leader. And I'm going to try my damnest to make sure that my leadership qualities show through. Who's ready? He needs one second. I need the dory. Yes, Chef. It's almost done. OK. Taking the John Dory. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I got it. Oh. John Dory. Autumn. Oh, just put it down there, yes? Shoot. I've got three pieces cooked perfectly and fucking one raw. Come on, guys. Look. Who took it out? Who took that Dory out? Autumn, chef. Come on. Yes, chef. Autumn pulled that fish out and it was raw. I didn't fuck it up. Autumn, are you doing that to sabotage her? Absolutely not. Don't take it out unless it's cooked. Thank you. While Holly starts over on her dory. Hello, Jay. I'm a chef as we speak. Jay is ready with his first risotto. Risotto, chef. Work it, Jay. Yes, chef, working hard. Jay, six minutes? I can go four minutes if you're ready. Come on, seasoning. A little bit more lemon. It's bland. Come on, fucking hell. 
I wouldn't call it bland. I would say slightly under-seasoned. Bland means not good to me. Unbelievable. Chef, I need a minute. I made it too salty on the risotto. Get it on, another yeah, one. Yeah, Chef, it's on, it's on. Let me show the DC to fucking stop it. Yeah, Chef. Look at me. Get it right, Gummy. You're putting me in the fucking shit here now. While Jay has maintained a level of quality control at his own station, there is something at the pass that has caught Chef Ramsay's attention. Hey, Holly. Yeah, Chef. Holly, look at me. Those scallops are sauteing perfectly, uh, yes? Thank you, Chef. Ah, oh, holy shit. In normal, everyday kitchens that I've worked in, I've never had a compliment yelled at me. Service, please. Thanks to Holly and Jay, diners are enjoying their appetizers. Oh my god, that is good. Let's go. And Chef Ramsay hopes the trend continues. Nicely cooked, Jay. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. How is everybody? Really good. Good. Right behind. This is hot, Chef. Keep it going, guys, please. Yes, Chef. Fucking raw. Fuck it. It's under cold. It's just a. Come on. I need the dory! Yes, chef! I need that dory fucking urgently! Like, fuck! Look at me! One minute! You may have spent the afternoon in the fucking sky, but can you come back down to Earth? Yes, Thank chef. you! The stakes are so high right now. I mean, it's very nerve-wracking knowing that a littlest mistake could send you up for an elimination. Hey, you may be down, but you're not out. Well, at least no, come back. Out. Well, I'm get your fucking head out of your ass, then! My head is out yeah, of my ass, Well, lift up a little bit, will you, yes? Yes, chef! While Holly struggles to get her John Dory right, Jay is having no trouble getting food to the pass. Jay. Yes, Chef. Now you're getting fucking confused. Whether it's needed or not. You throw me the potatoes out, they're not even on order. Sorry, Chef. If you clear down half yes, the chef. shit in front of you, you'll stay a lot more focused. Yes, Chef. Sake. I was trying to go so fast that then I got ahead of myself by one ticket. I'd rather bring up too much food than not enough food. I don't want shit everywhere. Show me some finesse, Jay. Yes, chef. My worry about you is you get busier, but you get sloppy. Yes, Chef. Now, fucking turn it down a bit, will you please, yes? Yes, Chef. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and while there have been a few problems in the kitchen, the dining room has not been affected. Enjoy your first course? Thank, Thank you. you. So much. We're sending appetizers and entrees at the same time. Yes, yes, chef. yes. Two duck, two beef, two dory. Look at me, easy. We chef. Let's go. Two duck, two beef. I have a lot to prove because I had a really bad service the last time, and I want to show chef that I can be vocal and work with the team to get things done. Duck, beef, two dory. Yes, chef. How long? How long in the duck and beef? Let's go. Ben. It was really hard to get Ben to talk still, and he just doesn't communicate very well. Duck and beef, how long? How long? Um, give me a second. Go quiet, Benjamin. How long? On uh, the pickup you're coming up with? No, chef's asking for the beef. Uh, we're at two minutes, right, Ben? Benjamin, talk to your brigade! What was that in order, chef? I'm sorry. Fucking hell. Two duck, two beef. Thank you. How long? Duck and beef. This is where it gets really fucking painful. You still haven't shown me that you can talk naturally. Now, look at me. Will you fucking wake up and talk to your team? How long? How long, then? You have got to do it. Yes, yes. Whether you like it or not, time yes, is running out for you. I want to communicate, and I'm like, Ugh. I know Chef Ramsay's screaming at me, and he's getting frustrated with me, but it fucking kills me, because I, I know what I have to do. You can't just sit there and yes. think. Open up! While Benjamin, for some reason, is still not ready to fully communicate, Autumn is ready with her garnish. Two Ellington's duck beef. Unbelievable. Autumn! Yes, Chef! Spinach is cold and greasy. Yes, Chef! Yeah. Coming right up. I'm fixing it. Can I have some hot garnish? When your job is to reheat something, you know, it really should be hot. Beef garnish. I got cold spinach again. It's fucking cold. Come on, Autumn, please. Cold spinach, no chance. Come on, Autumn. Yes, Chef. You served me cold spinach again, madam. Yeah, your fucking history. Yes, Chef. While Autumn makes a third attempt on the spinach, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Holly. I need that dory fucking urgently. Dory's not going up. Needs one second. Come on, guys, please. Ladies. Right, oil there. Too yes, dry, the pan's dry, so you're scorching the John Dory. There you go. Got to saute the John Dory, yeah? Yes, yeah, Chef. Saute, no salt on there. Come on, Holly, please. There's salt on yeah. there. Yeah, let's go. Season, let's go. Well, Holly thinks she knows what she's doing. She thinks she's probably better than, than me or Jay. She doesn't belong here. She's over her head. Holly. Yes, yeah, Big difference between sauteing something, look at me, and scorching something. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Chef. 
It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and Holly's problems on the fish station are slowing entrees leaving the kitchen, which means it's time for Jean-Philippe to do what he does best. Oh, can we get some food here or something? Oh, what's happening? Yes. yes. We're very hungry. We should be a short people. I know the four kilos table 35s. Entree, two monkeys, one chicken, one beef, beef medium. We chef. We chef. Autumn, look at me. I'm I... calling out orders now. You're not even acknowledging them. What did I just call out? Two so... Wellington, two duck, two beef. Nowhere near it. Two monkeys, one chicken, one fucking beef. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. I have no freaking idea. Guessing is just painful because my guesses are always wrong. Don't. Stop panicking! I won't. Then talk to me! Yes, Chef. While Autumn is having trouble holding it together on garnish, fuck. Ben is having the same problem with his meat. Wellington urgently! Benjamin! My Wellington's fall apart, Chef. What happened? It fell apart on me, Chef, when I sliced it. Slice it with a carbon knife, Benjamin. Straight to the edge knife. Yes, Chef. Come back for the Wellington. Fucking hell. Ben wasn't holding it together. I mean, I have no idea what's going on in his station. Not even cooked in a visit. Oh. Benjamin! We, oui, Chef. Wellington's raw. That's not even rendered down. Yeah, fuck. If it's not ready, don't send it, Benjamin. Yes, Chef. Come in, watch yourself. Come on, Benjamin. Come on, Benjamin, please. You can't stand there and gawp at that and not know it's not cooked. It's, it's not cooked yet. Oh, fucking hell. Come on. What can I do for you, Ben? Can you just check my steaks down below? Were they medium rare? Yeah. No, still rare. I strive every day to try to step up and be the leader. Do you get duck sauce here, Ben? Thank you. Hopefully, Chef Ramsay will realize that there is a leader amongst us. You get duck beef, and then two Wellington, and then two chicken. Yep, duck beef, two Wellington, two chicken. Got my Dory's in. I need three minutes. Right behind you, coming down the line. You still have two minutes? Now it's sounding like a kitchen. Keep chef. it going! Yes, Chef! Chef, two and a half minutes. With the chefs finally communicating like a team. Service, please. Properly cooked food is flying out to grateful customers. Very good. It is really good. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in full motion now. Standards. Yes, yes chef. chef. How long you got? Two minutes. Two, Two minutes. minutes. That's better. That's it. Beef garnish. Service, please. Let's go. Slicing duck. Service, please. No, no. Drop a salad right behind it. Let's go. Like that. This is the first time we've had no food come back to the kitchen. Keep it going! Yes, Chef! What a cool feeling that is. Nothing was sent back. That's pretty amazing. Duck, two Wellington coming up. Thank you. Nice to cook that, Wellington. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef! Guys, this is the last ticket, so, hey, it's in your hands. Garnish in one. Garnish in one. Got a little bit of a rough start, but once we got going, execution was there. Everyone worked as a team. And we had a really good dinner service. All right, bringing up garnish. Beef Wellington, Chef. Perfect. That's beautiful. Let's go. Service, please. Go. Thank you. Hey, well done, everybody. Yes? Thank you, Chef. Really? That is exactly what we've been looking for. Well done. Really well done. I think I did a good job. But I feel like I have just as much of a chance of going home tonight as anybody else. I really do. I just, I'm scared. Really well done. Clear down. Nobody is safe. After tonight, there will only be three of us. I mean, my god, these stakes are so high, I can't even comprehend it. I don't want to get any hopes up because one of us is still going home tonight. Well done. Really good. Best dinner service so far. We had some issues and some problems, but we bounced back. Here's the bad news. I'm not looking for four chefs. I'm looking for one. Jay, you took control and you led. Now, don't stop doing that. Go upstairs and then decide on the two nominees that you think are no longer good enough to stay in Hell's Kitchen. This is not going to be easy. Off you go. I was sort of down, and I went from zero to hero. Good job, Jay. Thank you. In all honesty, it's a tough decision. Usually, someone really fucks up the kitchen. You know, you don't even have to think about it. I don't want to go home. No, no. Nobody does. Nobody wants to go home. 
I don't want to fucking go home. I mean, Autumn, you're my first choice. Of course. I don't feel good about making the second decision. I just don't. This is really hard, harder than I ever wanted it to be. I mean, on like one hand, Holly and I have a personal relationship, and I, I would not want to screw it up. On the other hand, you know, Ben and I are buddies. Ben's a really good cook, but I'm still torn. I don't know what to do. I had some really great services. You know, a chef said you had perfect services. And I think I could run it better than you can. I don't have too much respect in Holly as a cook. Is she at the level to be a chef at the Hotel Savoy? No. I can do it, there's no doubt. There's no doubt in my fucking mind. I think I can run a kitchen. I, I know I can run a kitchen. I know I'm passionate. I know I have experience. I love food. I can cook good food. Ben, where the fuck are you getting this confidence? Your dinner service sucks. I feel like it's unfair to put Holly up there when she has not had a bad service and she's won the most challenges. Yeah, but Holly hasn't won the most challenges. I've won quite a bit lately. I just don't know what to do. Like, I think Ben could easily run a kitchen. I think Ben is super passionate. But I think based upon performance, I think you had a better night than Ben. I'm definitely, definitely torn. I mean, I don't know what to do. Someone tell me what to do. It's your choice, Jay. Jay, first nominee and why, please? First nominee is Autumn Chef. Autumn. She's had some rough services, just overall hasn't done too well here in Hell's Kitchen. Second nominee and why, please? Uh, the second nominee tonight, Chef, was Ben. Benjamin. It's more I chose Holly not to go up because she hasn't really had any bad services. I guess maybe just the lesser two evils. Benjamin, awesome. Let's go. Benjamin, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because of my experience and my passion. I understand that my service was not impeccable tonight at all. <clears throat> and I feel that if I pass that communication hurdle, I feel that I can take control. And I can do it. And I know I can do it, and I, I thought I was going to do it today. And if you give me another day, I will. Autumn, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? <clears throat> Just trying to keep it together. Since I've been in Hell's Kitchen, I've been called a princess. I've been told I don't like to work hard. I've been told that I don't have passion. But I think the amazing thing that I'm so proud about is how I fought through that. And I stand here completely capable. I mean, I absolutely deserve to be here, and I'm absolutely capable of running the Savoy Grill. This is difficult. My decision is... Autumn. Get yourself back in line. Benjamin, it's going to be really hard for me to say this to you. Take yourself back in line. Thank you, Chef. I can't do it. None of you deserve to go home. To help us celebrate, I've brought in some very special guests. Autumn. Here's your boyfriend, Ethan. <laughs> and your best friend, Sasha. <laughs> Autumn, take a seat. Oh, my God. Hey, Jay, here's Mum, Judy, and your stepdad, Victor. Come in. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice How are you? to see you. Nice to see you. Holly, your four-year-old son, Dylan, and his father, Philip. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Hi, baby. I kissed you, buggy. I love you, buggy. OK. Oh, Benjamin, say hello to your wife, Rosanna, and your one-year-old daughter, Ella. <laughs> Hi, guys. <you're> right. <laughs>
Sit down, Benjamin, enjoy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys are here. I'm just so happy to be here and to see them walk through the doors. It's such a good feeling. Oh my God, this competition is, it's so hard. It's just been like a roller coaster, like, because people didn't like me and they were intimidated by me, so they just kept nominating me. I think you can make it. Oh, I know you can. You can make it. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. It's been so tough. The only thing I love more than, than cooking is my wife and my child. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Ah. When you're doing a challenge and you're there with Chef, like, I don't think of my wife, I don't think of my child, I think of cooking, but all the time in between, I, I think of them. She's so big. You're so big. I don't even know where to begin, it's been insane. What could I have asked for more, you know, than see my family? If this place is not emotional enough, that just brought it to a whole new level. This is the hardest thing I've ever done and the best thing I've ever done. Yep. But and it'll be the most rewarding thing. What a trip. I missed you. I would just kill to go to London and be the chef of Savoy. <laughs> it's hard. Time to say goodnight. Good to see you guys. Win it all. We'll see you soon, honey. Okay. So proud. I love you. Can't wait to see you at home. Here, we're proud of you. It's all right. Hi. Sorry to cry, Bubba. I just missed you so much. Hi, Mama. Give hugs. Right now, it's hard. It's the longest I've ever been away from him. And that's the freaking the hardest part. Jay, Benjamin, Holly, Autumn. I'm gonna push the boundaries out even further. I'm gonna turn it up another notch. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good night. I'm gonna really push myself to win this competition. The success only lies within myself, not anybody else. You know, not only did I not get eliminated, but I got to see my boyfriend and my best friend, and, and it was such a big boost for me. It just makes me want to work even harder. I mean, I want my parents to be proud of me, so it just fires me up even more. Like, I want to come home the winner. If I were to win, I think my son would be very proud because I am doing this for him. <laughs> and that's all I can think about. I decided to let all the chefs enjoy tonight's successful dinner service, but what they don't know is after the next dinner service, I'll be cutting the field in half. Mm -hmm.